Hey guys, uh, it's Manny again. I wanted to quickly do a video on the Azure uh, 900, which is the Azure Fundamentals. Uh, taking the AWS uh, Solutions Architect and the SysOps, I tried to go into the 104 for, for Azure, but it's, it's a little bit more tougher. Uh, well, it's not that it's tougher per se, because it's really the same material but it is the questions are more tricky and f in comparison to the cloud practitioner that you would take with aws if you're a beginner right the introductory uh, exam it's a lot more difficult and it asks you a lot more about uh, services than uh, before and in these courses the the intro ones is usually you want to talk about fault tolerance or um uh, high availability big terms in cloud uh, how you can auto scale etc uh, but in this case, the Azure with the Azure fundamentals was a little, little bit tougher. So it, it will be definitely be a little bit of a challenge. But I think uh, with the updates, with no labs now, um, with the questions uh, being, a, a, I guess, a little bit more straightforward, uh, I think uh, I, th I think it's it's more doable, especially now and uh, in the next months, just because of this whole revamp that Microsoft had with the certificates. So let's begin. The Azure fundamentals is. Uh, the beginner course, it's got a lot of stuff uh, regarding services. It does need a little bit of hands-on and a lot of familiarity, just so you know a lot of the questions that kind of need you to know a little bit more to be able to to decipher what the correct answer is. Um, uh, like, like, like you guys know, uh, and, and Microsoft explains, they're not all uh, multiple questions, uh, multiple choice. So there's a, there's no fill in the blanks, but there's like you, you have to choose or uh, there's just it's not multiple choice like uh, AWS was right. So there's a little variance, but there's a I don't I don't think uh, I don't I don't think there's labs. Um, I got a let me see if I can over here I got a 9:30 out of 700. Uh, strange enough because I I felt like the security part was probably what I felt strongest about. Um, so I, I don't know how. I don't know what happened there. I probably got confused in one of the questions. So what I used to study for the Azure 900 uh, was uh, the the main modules that they have the learning paths. Uh, it took a little bit. It doesn't take too long. I'll probably say 10 hours maybe just to go through the hands-on. It's a lot of reading, uh, but it, it helps you, especially if you want to take notes. Um, and I'll show you my, my notes here. Um, this is pretty basic, just the key cloud concepts that you see in AWS too. You know, elasticity, scalability, uh, oops, I don't want to highlight that. Uh, scalability, high availability, elasticity. You, you need to know these uh, anywhere you are in the cloud, right? These, these are, these are basic. These are basic. Um, then you have a list of services, you know, computing services and you, I figured dividing these like this uh, was the best for me. I got these from uh, YouTube, freecodecamp.org. They had an, uh, an AZ900, so I did that. Then I did, I did the modules. I took as much notes as I could from that YouTube video, Free Code Camps, uh, and also from the modules here um, because a lot of stuff was missing. And for you to be able to link some things like uh, Data Lake, for example, and Synapse, which are very likely gonna show up in the, in the exam, um, it, it's important to know the differences and how they interact with each other. In in the cloud protection, you really didn't know need to know all that. Uh, in my experience, we, we just had to know uh, the basic key cloud concepts, and, and you were you were fine. So this one's a little bit uh, tougher for me. After I pa passed these, um, I took some practice exams in uh, Wislab. So that's what I would recommend. I took these a lot of times. Um, and you, you see how I go from 67 and then, you know, I, of course you can see like I'm kind of memorizing them, but I really am not. Um, and you see it's just back to back to back. Um, and what I try to do here is when I was, when I would, uh, do the exams, try to learn, uh, why the, why the other answers are wrong instead of just trying to memorize what the right answer is because very likely in the exam you won't see that. Um, 
you you there's a lot of questions for the AZ900, which is very uh, basic, but it's important again to know the click call concepts if if you want to uh, eventually get a position in the cloud, because that you will use that foundation uh, for everything. So after this, after taking getting the certificate, I will go into uh, the AZ104, and I think that's probably gonna be my next video. Um, just when I take it probably, I'm thinking maybe in a month because I do want to focus more in, in Python and uh, PowerShell, focusing more in automation, try to be able to, to code. Not really wanna be a developer per se, but I know even with, uh, if you're gonna be in the cloud, you need to have some kind of uh, knowledge in, in coding or in automating a lot of the stuff that you do just because that's where things are heading now. Uh, and a lot of the positions that you will see, they a lot of them will ask for, a lot of them will ask for um, a language. So either, uh, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not gonna say JavaScript, but it's for the positions of like administrator and stuff, they'll ask more for PowerShell uh, in case you can create code and automate stuff. Uh, Bash, if it's more into the Linux, uh, environment and uh, Python even so that that's why I'm trying to focus more on Python because I've always wanted to learn Python already anyways and I, even though I've taken some introductory courses I've never actually like, created something enough to to be able to follow it properly PowerShell for Azure you, you need PowerShell like you need to uh, even in with the Azure fundamentals you needed to know how to uh, create a, uh, a virtual machine like from code, and, and you would assign it a, secure, a security group, uh, you would assign a res resource group, uh, information within it, like it's insane, especially in the AZ-104, because I did I did start taking uh, notes on that one, as, as you can see here, and, and I just cheered just some PowerShell commands that I was going through, um, VM script, you know, exactly what I was saying, you, you'll you assign it a name, a location, uh, network name, etc. So these are the things that you'll eventually like just learn, and then these are the things that you'll eventually use uh, when you uh, when you get a job, right? So you want to deploy a VM, you want to deploy a uh, security group, you you want to change something, um, and it will it will be uh, in the CLI and PowerShell. I mean, as long as you know one of them, I think uh, we should you should be okay. But that's that's looking forward. In AZ nine hundred, you don't get any PowerShell commands. It's it's pretty much services, what they do, cloud security, how it relates to. Um, the rest of the other services and how you can get things accomplished and a little bit of the cloud so you'll I really encourage you to go into um, portal.azure.com and uh, play around know where the cloud shell is and stuff like that like it's it's it is the cloud it's the I was gonna say cloud practitioner but it's Azure fundamentals you need to have hands-on for, for the exam and with the cloud practitioner, I felt like maybe you probably didn't, but with this one, I feel like the more you know, the more hands-on, the more confident you're gonna be taking the exam. Um, and then eventually, if you wanna do more with Azure, it's it's definitely gonna help, and it's, it's very important to have this good foundation. That's why I took the Azure Fundamentals before. I took the AZ-104, even though I was just studying for the AZ-104, I felt like, oh, let me get, let me go back and try to get the fundamentals, try to see what Azure really wants me to know, what they expect, uh, especially going to from AWS where all the questions were a certain way to going to Azure where uh, um, I was reading from, from Reddit and everywhere, there's like, oh, the questions are different, there's labs and stuff, you know, it's, it was like, okay, well, let me, let me walk in, let me not just get, sh uh, let me not get uh, surprised or shocked as I'm taking the exam. So this was good. Um, and if you guys have any other questions, if you want to know uh, anything else, uh, just write down a comment and I'll be uh, more than happy to help you. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.